guys, this is Paul with Coastal Upcycling and today I want to talk to you a little bit about wet sanding uh, your furniture to get an absolutely smooth finish. Uh, and this is going to be very helpful if you want your finish to be uh, really high gloss. Um, even for a satin or a flat painted piece, um, you still want your finish as smooth as possible. You know, nobody likes any brush strokes. Um, any dimples, any little bits of dirt, debris, bubbles, anything like that in, in, your, uh, in your end product. So what I've found is that uh, wet sanding with a high grit um, sandpaper really helps to give me the absolute smoothest finish possible. So I'm going to show you how, uh, how I do that. So uh, with, with wet sanding, uh, we want to go really high up. We want to go all the way. I've got, uh, I've used 600. I have 800 just because that's what they had at the uh, store at the time. Uh, this can be wet. Uh, it can be used with, uh, with a lubricant, water or a solvent, depending on what kind of paint you're using. We have a, a water-based paint, so we're going to use water. What that does is, is lubricates the sanding. It keeps the sand paper moving and it keeps the, the, uh, the sandpaper also from clogging up. Uh, clogging up means that all the stuff that you're taking off, all the material that you're taking off your, your piece will start to deposit on your sandpaper, rendering it useless. It'll, when you have a lubricant in there, it keeps things moving. And you'll start to see when, you, when, uh, when we sand, and, and you'll see here in this video, that uh, you'll start seeing some of the material come up. So, um, sandpaper. I've got a, a little bucket, Halloween's over, I've got a bucket of sudsy water. Uh, it's really just about halfway filled up with regular water from the tap and a wet rag, old sanding block, and then <clears throat> I've got a couple of uh, pieces of sandpaper just kind of sitting in there. I don't know if, uh, <laughs> if that's a good thing or not. Uh, I just left them in there because I didn't want the water dripping all over the place, so I figured that'd be a good place to put it. I put water in an old water bottle, give another couple of drops of uh, dish soap, and at least I can control a little bit more. Get your sandpaper. So we've got our, our water on here, our lubricant. We're gonna start over here, make sure that the, the paper is plenty wet. And we're just gonna use small little circles. And uh, you will feel Resistance, that's a good thing. That means that you are starting to remove some of the high points of the material. And the bubbles also is a good signal that you are getting uh, agitation and that you're, uh, you're actually doing something and not just you know rubbing the paper all over the place. <clears throat> so, that is the motion. We're just gonna do small little circles as we get across the whole piece. Make sure you keep uh, plenty of water around. Because once the, uh, the surface or the paper gets dry, that's when you'll start getting some of those uh, deposits onto your sandpaper. And then you'll have to either try to clean it or you'll have to toss it because eventually it'll dry in the, uh, in the sandpaper and, and it's going to be very difficult to get out. <clears throat> so we'll keep on uh, sanding like this. You'll have a couple of uh, dry rags around to wipe and check your progress. And if you see little dimples in there, that means you've still got some sanding to go. We want to try to get as close to a glass finish All as right. possible. So we're going to keep on sanding. Now, if you like this type of information, please subscribe to our channel at Coastal Upcycling and share this video with a friend. And if you didn't like this video, uh, let me know as well. You know, sometimes, um, constructive criticism you know it's difficult but uh, it helps me become a better um, video presenter and that's gonna be beneficial for everybody if I can if I can explain the material better um, that's ultimately what I think everybody wants that way they can get what they need and get out so thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video bye